Hey, it's Sam back here. Welcome to Viral Nova Pro today. Now, I'm excited to show you this software in action. I'm going to be showing you how this works and how it can benefit your website. This is a useful software that's going to basically allow you to populate a website with Amazon products that you can sell and make money from. And it's going to give you a really good way of generating traffic through a number of different methods and strategies around the web. Now, before I get into this demonstration today, and I'll show you exactly what the software does, I want to mention that Backers Board right now, uh, is available. It's um, currently a website that I've been working on for the last few months. Now, I haven't been very hands on on this website. Very soon, though, you're going to see a lot of content coming onto this website. Also, the calendar. If you want to keep up to date with when these promotions are happening, what promotions are coming up, and if you want to get these reviews earlier than everyone else so you know whether you want to buy or not before the time of the launch, then I encourage you to sign up here. We've got a mobile app for Android. We also have a mobile app for the App Store, and you'll be able to download that and actually get notifications um, onto your cell phone if you want to, or you can um, you know, go through, be a member. It's really up to you whether you want those notifications or not. Um, completely customizable. There's actually a settings component here that you'll see in your profile, and you'll be able to adjust your different settings um, as to when you want to receive those. So um, you can also subscribe down here, click subscribe, and that will subscribe you to updates for this forum. So if you want to go and get free access to this, you're going to see a lot more posts in here very soon from me and a lot more activity on this website very soon as well. I know we have a number of members. We've got over 4,000 right now. And it's free to sign up right now. You can use the link that's underneath this video. Okay, back to Viral Nova. Now, I'm excited to show you the software today. Um, the reason that I'm showing you this is that it basically allows you to create websites um, that have a bunch of different content from Amazon. Now you're seeing an example website right here. This is the example site that we're using today for this. This will allow you to take your store. Okay, this is your store right here. You can view the collection, all of that. And this is going to allow you to add different products. Now, this will not customize the template. Um, it's designed to work in conjunction with, uh, you know, software like WooCommerce uh, and other softwares that may be in use. It also will give you the ability to um, customize any current theme or WordPress site you have. So you can install this plugin on your current website, even if you've purchased another sort of, um, you know, uh, create product creation type um, software or theme that you're using to sell e-commerce products, this will work with it. So the first part of the software, and there's two parts on the front end of the software, there's VNP, Woo Suite, and there's also Curation Engine. So the first part of the software, you've got the RSS Engine. Now what this does is it grabs different blog posts and articles from different RSS feeds around the web. This could be from your RSS feed from another website. This could be for, from a website in your niche. You can add an RSS uh, feed by clicking on Add RSS URL. And what happens is that as more content is uploaded to these RSS feeds, so this one, for example, if we were to have a look at this, you'll see that this is an RSS feed, and it looks like nothing, but what it really is, is this is content that's been updated. So this is the article, and you can actually have this article automatically posting to your website as a blog post. Now the reason you might want to do this is if you need additional content on your website, if it's in the same niche as yours, say for example you've created a fitness website and you want to get some fitness content on there about you know, how to get a better body for example. And in doing that, people can come to your website, they can be reading about how they can get a better body, they can see your ads, they can see your advertisements or products that you're selling on your website and as a result of that purchase. This will also help you, um, regular content will help you appear um, in Google's eyes really well because Google wants you to be updating content on a regular basis on your website. It's one of the um, methods that they use to determine whether your website is a website they should be ranking because they can see you're constantly updating it. That's one of the reasons that you know newer websites tend to rank in the search engines a lot higher than older websites that have been there for a long, long time um, but aren't necessarily very active. Then you've got the content engine here. Now what this does is it basically allows you to spin your content. Now you can use this in conjunction um, with Spin Rewriter or if you've got a built-in spinner then you can um, basically select this, you can go update options and it's going to spin the RSS feed content that you got. So if you're wondering, well hey, if I import these articles from someone else's feed, how are they going to be unique um, for my website? Well, th this solves the problem basically. You've got a built-in spinner here that will use it um, or if you want to you can use the spinner um, spin bros and you can actually just update through posts and that also will do the same job as this. Now you've got the feedback engine here. Now what this does is quite interesting. 
This will basically um, give you a way of commenting, placing comments on other people's websites. Now, how useful is this? Uh, not that useful. In my, in my personal opinion, I don't think this is that useful a feature. It might be good on your own website. Say, for example, if you can place a bunch of comments on your own website saying um, that, hey, this looks good and all of that, then you can do that. I wouldn't recommend doing that, but you can do that with a software. Um, or you can post on other people's Facebook pages or on their websites, and this is basically an auto commenter which will say, hey, cool post, check out this URL here or check out my website here. You know, it's going to ask people to comment. The reason it's not that effective, and I don't, uh, you know, I, I don't necessarily think this is that useful in this software, is that so many people do that stuff right now. Um, you've probably been to a website before and you've seen a bunch of comments. You don't really pay attention to them because you know you, you see so many different comments. And this is also this could also be seen as, you know, slightly spammy if you didn't do it in the right way. So you can upload a text document to make sure the comments are unique. But again. Um, not the not my favorite traffic method. Okay, then you've got the link engine. Now what this does is it redirects um, different links back to your website. So this will allow you in Google's eyes um, basically to have link juice going back to the chosen site or the tr um, site of your choice. So if you had, say for example, this plugin set up on another website and you wanted to redirect your links from this website to another website to lift up the ranking of that other website, this is where you'd use this. You'd add in that other website of yours and you basically use this as a website solely dedicated to making another one rank higher. And you can do that through this link engine right here. Now you've got an article engine. This allows you to search via keywords. You can add in a keyword here and you can search through these different article marketing or article websites and find um, different content that you might be interested in. So uh, let's go ahead, we can um, choose to post on this date. It's then gonna go across, it's gonna search, and it's gonna find content and post it to our website. You've got license information here, and then you've got Woo Suite here. Now what Woo Suite does is it's included on the front end and it's different. Okay, what this does is it imports a bunch of products from Amazon. It allows you to make money as an Amazon affiliate. So what you can do, and you can see here, there's already a 2,800 2, um, product views. We've got 118 products here. These are the different products we've found. What we can do is we can actually go, and it's got a content spinner as well and a lot of other options. But first, we're going to go to insane import mode. Now what this does is it goes to Amazon. It allows you to select a different category you want. And you can actually go ahead and grab products. You can also grab the Amazon um, URL that you want to grab the product from. Uh, or if you've got a list of different products, you can add in those ASIN codes, which are in the URLs of your Amazon products. The other way you can search, and you can see no products are selected right here, is you can actually look through a category. You can search through the, um, the, the category you want to search through. And then you can actually launch a search from here. You can search based on what type of apparel it is. You can ba uh, base it on keyword. And when you're ready, click launch search. Now, I haven't made this very specific. It's going to come up probably with a ton of different products. You can see here that it's already queued some of those in. You've also got um, a different way here of determining whether you want to import a certain amount of products. So you could say number of product variations, five. Um, it has here um, products per minute. That's how many it's going to import. So we've got five there. We've uh, found these products so far. We can show all products if we wanted to. Basically, what when we go ahead and we click on import products, it's going to import all of these to our website. Now, I'm not going to do that because we've got a watch website here, and it's not a clothing apparel. Or it's not a clothing website. It might be apparel. I'm not totally sure if it would be categorized as apparel. Um, but that's basically what this does. All right. So um, it'll allow you to import your products into your um, your current website. It's a add-on to your current website. It's not like a software in itself that'll create your website, but it's an add-on to improve your website and give you a few more content options as well. So where would I see this being used? Well, I, I personally would probably see this being used if you don't yet have a traffic solution on your website. You want to add a bit extra. You want to get a bit extra traffic to your website. This will help you do that. Um, it's not the best website software for doing that at all, but it's a different option. All right, It's another option that you can use in order to really try and get more traffic back to your website. Plus, some of these options you might use but not use over and over again, or you might not use all of these options with your website. You might use one or two, say the article engine for importing articles, RSS engine for importing then spinning articles. Um, you might use the link engine if you want to redirect some of that link traffic to another website. Or you might just go ahead, you might get access to VNP Woo Suite, and you might use this to import Amazon products really quickly so you can go ahead and profit from your already created website. That's where this software will be used. I hope this has been useful. 
Again, it's a WordPress plugin, and you'll be able to use this with your website. Thanks for listening. This is Sam Becker. I hope this is now clear and you understand what this will do for your business. It's up to you whether this will work um, in your current strategy on how you're trying to make money online, but I hope that I've um, helped you to make a better decision and a more informed uh, decision here today. Thanks. I'll see you later.